All right, so test video three. So jump into the launch pad. Uh, there's a couple of other aspects I could cover or discuss. Like I could, um, you know, do a video showing construction if you know enough interest is shown of that, or a bit of an explanation of how I get my mod stack. Oh, so even now you can see I'm starting to push the memory after just one revert. Um, but you know, it's just the limitations of having nice looking mods on Windows 32. All right, so got these three guys. Uh, let's go for launch. Um, I always play without audio, um, despite uh, having played more you know, than a thousand hours. It's just what I do. Um, you know, allows me to do other things at the same time. Usually, you know, uh, listen to audiobooks or music. So uh, we've got smoke screen. Uh, oh, I've already got number of active particles increased. Yeah, I play between four and seven thousand. It doesn't seem to impact my frame rate that badly. I think it's mostly the part count that has that impact. So uh, top left, as you can see, uh, running at 40 percent now. Um, there's a, a lot of interesting things about <coughs> how you fly this you know, type of rocket. Um, I, I find that um, there's a number of different classes of rocket type um, if you classify them by how you have to fly them. Um, this is kind of an interesting intermediate. So the two ends, I'd say, are you know, Saturn V and something with a really light uh, upper, like uh, low thrust weight ratio, like uh, the DCSS or something with a low thrust weight uh, upper stage that still has to do a bit of work. So um, you'll see how I fly this intermediate guy, and I might explain a bit of what I'm doing. So. I usually wait uh, t till I'm about 50 meters per second to really do anything. Um, I like to use uh, MechJeb and MechJeb Smartass. You see I've got a few windows set up for some important um, <coughs> maneuvers that I, mean, I need to do over this mission. So I wait till about 50 meters per second and go to surface velocity plus and then I kind of uh, eyeball what's going on. Oh, and because I've got the dev version of MechJeb, I love to uh, pull up some interesting information for my from here. Uh, can never quite remember how to get the info to show here. Uh, no, it must be below this. There we go. Way down. I just I don't know, love numbers. I love graphs. So <sighs> I love to see what's going on as we proceed. And I feel like I'm pitching over more than I'd like to be at this point, so see if I can save it by pitching up a little bit. Although my last launch, I actually had the best launch with this craft I've, craft I've ever had, and I felt I was pitching way too low. So, ah, well, this is of course just a test video, but I've just realized that I didn't get myself into the plane of the moon, which is oh so very important for the mission I'm attempting to perform. So there we go set as target. So, um, you know, since I'm scrubbing this anyway, hey, why not? So, you know, as you can see, yeah, missions are usually a failure, but uh, I learn a lot from failures, so I may as well keep the info anyway. So let's see. So relative inclination. There we go. In, the, in my template window window. So that's the difference between, I want that to be zero. Uh, that's what when I say I'm in the plane of the moon. So if I select the moon as my target, it lets me know where I'm aiming for. And once that comes out, I wait for the Earth to rotate around uh, until Kennedy's uh, Space Center here in Florida is in the plane of the moon. And then then you're launching, you launch straight east and you're in the plane of the moon. Oh wow, I'm crazy low. Um, see my dynamic pressure increasing. Get some more information out of this graph here. All right. I might still post this even just to see what people think because I don't know I like failures uh, like this most most of the time you only see people's failures in a stream and you know try to act all perfect but I do love failures because you learn so much from them so I'm hitting maximum dynamic pressure here uh, as you can see the blue line is leveling off <laughs> I wonder why my acceleration is so bumpy yeah it's just uh pitch down way too low, so must have started pitching over way too early. 
Let's see. So important values. Uh, let's see. Time to AP is barely increasing, despite the fact that I'm at a um, <laughs> currently pushing a thrust of over two Gs. So I'm done. No matter what I do at this point, these guys are not going to space today. But hey, uh, it's a test, and because of my high memory, I'm going to need to reboot anyway. Oh right, I forgot. Oh god. Um, so S S Vel plus with smart acid points. Uh, right down the hatch, uh, right, right in the direction of your surface velocity. I find that really a useful tool for controlling your craft um, at launch because it will kind of start to do the pitch maneuver itself. Uh, it gives you a lot of, it does a lot of important work and you really just have to tweak the variables a bit. Uh, so when I was pitching up so much I was starting to lose a bit of control because because we're being pushed by the air so hard, um, you, know, you kind of veer off of that so the air is pushing me from below which kind of pushes me up and could cause cause it to tip over. But surprisingly, these guys get to survive uh, today. Probably, if I had an abort sequence programmed, I probably could have used that. But uh, I generally don't bother because I'm all about the revert. It's what I do. Um, it just takes this you know, stress out of uh, doing this. You know, I kind of like to jack up the challenge, the difficulty. Um, you know, until it's most interesting to me, but ultimately if it's just making me feel more stressed out by doing it, uh, yeah. yeah, you're optimizing for fun. You're playing a game, right? So I'm totally fine doing reverts, uh, but, you know, I try to do them for good reasons. So, let's see. Oh, see, so another thing, so let's see, set as target. So, I think it's an issue with the stock, uh, with you, with the game interface, but I have to be careful in using smart ass because here, so let's say I've set the pitch above uh, this direction. So if I go down, see I'm clicking, so notice um, relative inclination hasn't, you know, it's still showing, but if I double click, see, if I click anywhere too quickly, it pulls, it gives away, uh, lose my target. I'm curious if there's a mod to fix that, um, but I'm not aware of one. Um, I also always view, you know, uh, view the rocket launch from kind of this angle. Uh, let me know what you think. Um, but from kind of the perspective of the sun, because it makes the rocket look, you know, the most well lit. Now, I know there's mods to change the brightness. You know, anybody wants to suggest one? Um, I don't like the one that just kind of brightens it from every direction. I don't know. Maybe I want to mess with my gamma settings. Oh wow! I don't think I've ever seen that before. I must be. Re I'm murdering my memory. Uh, <laughs> number to turn red. I'm gonna get a crash. Uh, but I've never seen get patches like that. That's really interesting. All right, so we're about to to lose the booster stage, and ultimately these guys are not going to go to space today. But that's okay. Just a test video, just a test, and I wasn't in the plane of the moon anyway. So I think I'll leave these here, <laughs> out of memory, out of time. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.